Hi, I'm Steve Papa, CEO of Parallel Wireless. Great to be here in Barcelona. Great to meet you. You know, the big, uh, the big news here is everyone's talking about 5G. Absolutely. Right? But there's even an even bigger story right, around okay. 5G. You, you've heard about some people starting rollouts and maybe not continuing because their economic models are challenging. Mm -hmm. 5G is very expensive. Yes. And people don't want to pay more for that service. Monetization right? is a huge issue. Exactly, and that's because they're taking the traditional telco infrastructure model to building 5G. Mm -hmm. Turns out there's another place this is happening, okay. which is all the rural coverage, and especially in developing countries. The traditional model hasn't served their needs, mm -hmm. right? So it turns out the real big story is that the problem of serving the unconnected and the problem of making 5G work are really one and the same, right? Which is about changing how we think about industry structure, economics, and technology to drive out costs to serve more bytes of data to more people. And that, so tell us about how Parallel approaches that. So at Parallel Wireless, what we're working to do is to move to as much COTS hardware, mm -hmm. the same way the data center did. Absolutely. For 2G, 3G, 4G, and 5G, yeah. okay? One of the interesting things that happens when you do that is software innovates much faster and does a lot more automation and makes things simpler. Mm -hmm. right? If you go back to the data center of the 90s, yeah. a big computer from Digital Equipment Corporation would require 10 people just to care and feed it. Okay? Imagine AWS if each of your instances required 10 people <laughs> to care and feed it. <laughs> yeah, Everyone would... on the planet would be employed running AWS instances. Basically, yeah. okay? mm -hmm. But once we started to separate from proprietary hardware and move to COTS, mm -hmm. the software innovation happened very rapidly that now, I, actually I like to tell the story in, in 2000, if you built a business plan, mm -hmm. you would have one system administrator for 10 servers. Yeah. Today it's more like one for, ten, for a thousand instances. Mm -hmm. That's two orders of magnitude of efficiency. Absolutely. Right? And I believe the wireless infrastructure is primed for that level of, uh, of gains as we go through the next few years. Really? Right, and, the, and that same work that's being done to make things more affordable for the uh -huh. disconnected is what's going to bring 5G to more of the population faster. Mm -hmm. And the software-defined radio plays into that very Software-defined right? radio, the, the software-defined radio network controller, uh -huh. which is our HetNet gateway, yep. right? As well as, I think, a lot of silicon work that's happening to reduce the cost of things like massive MIMO, mm -hmm. right? Small cells, et cetera because those in the limit start to approach what Wi-Fi looks like. They're not that different what's inside these things. Yeah, okay. So. Great, well thank you so much for the time. Is there anything else that you've seen at the show that you thought was really interesting? Um, unfortunately, I haven't left this booth, <laughs> right? Although when, busy. I'm, when I'm walking down the halls, I think the, 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 the drones for people are awesome. <laughs> I want one. I want one that can go about 50 miles. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, so. we'll, we'll hope you get it someday. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Steve. Okay.